हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टुडे आवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज स्टोन एनालिसिस बाय एफटीआईआर द सैंपल और स्पेसिमेन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस टेस्ट इज स्टोन एंड देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ स्टोन्स मेनली किडनी स्टोन गॉल ब्लडर स्टोन एंड सलाइवरी डक्ट स्टोन लेट्स सी वन बाय वन kidney stone also called nephrolithiasis kidney stones are common illness with multifactorial etiopathogenesis kidney stone is a hard object that is made from chemicals in the urine there are mainly four types of kidney stones calcium oxalate uric acid struvite and cysteine common symptoms include severe pain in lower back blood in urine nausea vomiting fever and chills and urine that smells bad and looks cloudy the stone is removed by different techniques and sent for examination the risk factor for development of kidney stones are following a family history of kidney stone increases the risk by 2.5 times increase enteric oxalate absorption typically due to malabsorption lead to increase formation of calcium oxalate crystals urinary tract infection altering urinary ph in setting of urea producing bacteria thus producing struvite crystals low fluid intake history of diabetes obesity gout and hypertension acidic uric which promotes uric acid formation in the setting of chronic diarrhea and gout next is gall bladder stone also called cholelithiasis mainly three types of gall bladder stones are there first is pure cholesterol stone second is pure bilirubin stone and third is mixed stone cholesterol stones were soft with smooth surfaces and showed central radiation on cross section bilirubin stones were soft and amorphous with rough surface while the mixed stone had rough surface with laminated cross section and the last is salivary duct stone also called sialolithiasis the main site of salivary stone formation is submandibular gland and followed by parotid and sublingual gland the formation of salivary gland calculi results from deposition of calcium salt around a core made up of desquamated epithelial cells foreign bodies bacteria and mucus salivary gland calculi are of laminal structure now let's learn about the method ftir what is ftir it is fourier transformed infrared spectroscopy it is known that determination of crystalline and molecular composition and the quantification of all stone components are helpful to establish the etiology of stone disease the principle of this test is following a pellet of potassium bromide and stone mixture is presented to ir beam of spectrometer that will give a specific spectrum of each stone the spectrum is then compared with existing spectrum library to get final answer now let's learn the procedure of ftir once you receive the stone always note shape color size and weight the stone submitted to analysis are washed with deionized water and dried at room temperature for 24 hours subsequently the stones are powdered in a mortar and aliquoted in vials before being subjected to the following analysis a aliquot of pulverized stone is mixed with an inert powder support which is dried potassium bromide in proportion of 0.5 to 2% in agate mortar 
this mixture is transferred into an appropriate holder and pressed at 10 tons per centimeter square to form transparent pellet 13 mm in diameter. Pellet assembled in a holder is placed in IR beam of spectrometer. A background spectrum is collected before every analysis for the sample blank. All FTIR spectra of kidney stones are then computer matched against a library of spectra to generate a report on various components. Graph is compared and result is reported accordingly. Here FTIR spectrum of uric acid anhydrous stone matched with reference spectra contained in the library. The reference spectrum of uric acid anhydrous stone with the best fit value was showed in the bottom. The result of the taste can be of pure stone, mixed stone or pure stone with substances in trace. And it also provides the exact proportion of each chemical in the stone. Overall report of stone analysis contain gross appearance of the stone, number of stone, color, consistency, outer surface, size and shape of the stone. And chemical analysis include the stone type of needles and surface and percentage of each stone type. This is in short about stone analysis by FTIR and these are the references for this video. Hope you like it. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next video.